So I had promised you guys a Dollar Tree weekend jam packed with Dollar Tree shopping. And that is exactly what I did. I went to the Dollar Tree Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So I figured, you know what, now that it's Monday, I better get a haul in there for you all so you can see some of the treasure that I found. Hey everybody, it's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3. Welcome. And not only did I score the treasure, but I had a whole host of helpers along with me because you know what? The more eyes on the prize, the better. So we're going to jump right into this Dollar Tree haul. I hope you'll join me. What do you say? Let's go. to be found every place. It was just like here, there, there, here, everywhere in the store. Sometimes I couldn't look fast enough because I had my son, my hub, saying, did you see this? Did you see this? Even my grand in on the action. Mimi, look at this. So the first thing that we spotted are these. This just has everything about summer I love. The nice, beautiful, primitive red, white, and blue because that blue is navy. So right, navy, white, and red are just classic epitome colors of summer. That's what I think anyways. Growing up in New England, this just personifies summer. So I just had to get these. I did get myself a set of four of these. The back is the solid red. And what is really nice about these, I want to show you, is look at that. It pulls apart, so instant pillow. If you want to run a seam ripper along one edge of this, put some stuffing in there, and it's like a nylon -y fabric, you could have yourself a nice little outdoor decorative pillow to throw on your swing or on your lounge chair as a little decorative touch. So I'm not going to turn these into pillows myself. I'm going to use them as placemats and I'm using them inside. But again, based on this fabric, if you have an outdoor deck or patio and a nice umbrella table, these would look gorgeous for you starting today, Memorial Day, all the way through to Labor Day. How beautiful would that be? So I was so excited. Wish list number one. Checked off the list. And speaking of really awesome finds, this next thing was picked up by Bill. So I was like, I couldn't believe it. Again, extra eyes, extra prize. Look at this. Can you believe this? This is a mega bottle. Annie's Goddess Creamy Tahini and Lemon Recipe Dressing. This is vegan. I mean, how awesome is this? No artificial flavors, no synthetic colors. It is is by Annie's Incorporated, which is out of Berkeley, California. I did make sure to check the expiration date on the top there, and it is best if it's used by September 2022. So a decent shelf life because I thought this would be perfect for the summer. In the warmer weather, I love to eat salads and things like Greek pockets where you cut up cucumbers cucumber, red onion, tomato, um, some of that, what is that Greek cheese, feta cheese, and then drizzle it with this, let it sit in the fridge for a couple of hours, and put it into a pita pocket, and what a delicious, easy, quick, and tasty summer meal because no heat involved. I mean, you literally don't even have to turn on your air fryer to make this meal. So this is the perfect dressing because with the feta cheese, oh, and especially the cucumber, red onion, 
As you can see, I am obsessed with that meal because if there's two things in the kitchen I like is that it is easy and it is delicious. And so this is going to help me make that quick, yummy summer night meal, get home from work, 90 degrees. I don't feel like turning on the oven. I'm going to reach for this. So I was really excited to find such a name brand quality vegan item at the Dollar Tree for only $1.25. Actually, I say I found, I should give credit, I believe that it was Bill's Eyes that scored this product for us. Now, the next item I picked up, I believe this is on the wish list of many of you out there because I know it had been on mine, and this is the second time finding it, and it is this palm olive spray away. And I got to tell you, what I discovered how I love using this product is on my stove top. You know how, I don't know, you're cooking things, even like boiling water for a pot of spaghetti, and it boils over and it leaves a horrible mess. Well, I spray my cooktop with this, like all around the burners, let it set for five minutes, just use a sponge, a, what I love are those like reusable rag wipes that the Dollar Tree sells. I think they're either by Barillo or, um, I don't know. I don't know the other brand, but any type of wipe, you can use a paper towel for that matter. And it just wipes up so nice, gets the grease off of my stovetop, which in our household is extra important this time of year because where we live, the soil has a lot of sand in it and we get those little tiny, tiny, like what I call sugar ants. I don't know if that's the name of them or not, but so we got to be extra careful in keeping our kitchen uh, countertops, stovetop nice and tidy so that there isn't any grease or crumbs or whatever scents, I guess, that are going to attract those little ants. So I have discovered that's really how I love using this product. Not using it to wash my dishes, but using it to clean my cooktop and my cutting boards. So I'm really pleased with this find, and I think a dollar $1.25. I'm getting it for a great deal. And we needed a birthday card for somebody in the house, so we picked that up. 50 cents for this Heartline by Hallmark. I thought that was a great deal, so a fun, easy little find. I get my cards exclusively at the Dollar Tree. I used to never even buy cards because I was like, my goodness, the card cost almost as much as the gift. It's a gift in itself, and I'm just too frugal and practical that way. I don't consider myself being cheap. I don't want anybody spending that kind of money on cards to send me. But, so I figured the Dollar Tree, you can get them between 50 cents to $1.25 or even less if you find the boxes of cards that can have eight and up in it. So. That's the way to go, in my opinion, is if you want to send a greeting card, getting it at the Dollar Tree makes it an affordable way to give a greeting card. And for some reason, every time I'm at the grocery store or at Target, which isn't a ton, so I will give myself that little uh, like leeway, but I keep forgetting to buy trash bags. So that is why I am so happy that I can get them at the Dollar Tree, because I'm at the Dollar Tree all the time. So on this trip, I picked these up. These are the tall kitchen bags. And if you're not new to my channel, you see what caught my eye about this little box of beauties. 80% more. So in here, you get 14 bags. And this is by Home Essentials is the brand. So it is a Dollar Tree line. And I have no issues with these. I mean, I guess if you were throwing away like a lot of heavy duty garbage, then maybe you would want to use something stronger. But for our everyday household waste, I use these. I like that they have the handles because we use that to tie off the bag. So again, 
I got them at the Dollar Tree. 14 kitchen bags, $1.25. I thought that was okay, and it's kind of right one of those things. When you need them, you need them. So in the price of gas, I'm not going to run all over town in search of trash bags. I can walk to the Dollar Tree. So that's where I picked these up. All right, and I got to tell you, with four of us, yeah, there were four of us shopping at the Dollar Tree. I cannot believe that we did not come home with one bag that was just full of nothing but candy because we are a family of sweet tooths, let me tell you. We love our sweets. So I did pick this up. I'm a bad influence, let me tell you, but it's this box of Butterfingers. They're the unwrapped minis. If you eat this whole box, it's 370 calories. And the expiration date on this is January 2023, so plenty of time, believe me. Um, I don't know if this will survive till the end of today <laughs> with me in the house, but I was just listening to it. It's been so hot, I am not positive that they haven't kind of melted together into one big clump. But bottom line, if that has happened, it's not going to prevent me from eating them. And what is fun to do with this in any case is to break it up and put it on vanilla ice cream. You know, you kind of do your own home version of a McDonald's McFlurry. So maybe that's what I'll do. Um, I'm starting to make myself really jonesing for <laughs> a McFlurry, let me tell you. But so I grabbed this box of candy and then one of the other shoppers that were with me, of course, picked this up. And if you're not new here, I bet you can guess who this favorite belongs to. But these are the Twix minis. They are labeled the left and the right. Um, so just a dollar twenty-five, maybe not the greatest deal, but again, we were at the Dollar Tree. We all have such painful sweet tooths that this had no problem jumping into our cart. So I will be back again very soon with a much more Dollar Tree treasure. I cannot believe what we found, and I am so excited to share it all with you. But I don't want to do it all today because it will go on too long. Because, hey, we know I do like to talk. So remember, guys, until next time, please be well. Good luck to everybody that entered the red, white, and blue star felt banner giveaway. The keyword had been fireworks. So thank you for all the comments of those of you that said fireworks. And good luck, everybody. We have a winner. Thelma, please email me. I will include my email address here so that I can get your address and get your prize off to you.